standing tall for 139 years. The Hutchinson House, that is. This historic landmark on Edisto Island is in the works to live for many years to come and allow for black history to be preserved. I was real young. And I was like, Grandma, why are you wasting your time trying to save this house? Mm -hmm. She said, because um, I watched my father work the fields till his hands bled. So I understood this blood, this our blood. It's known as the Hutchinson House, sitting on more than 400 acres of land on Edisto Island. But to the family behind this historic home, they call it their own gingerbread house. We had spent Christmas in here, me and my brothers and sisters, and my mom and my dad. And um, on the front porch, we had a swing. Henry Hutchinson built this two-story home for his wife Rosa in 1885. More than a century later, the original appearance of the house is making a return. The earliest photograph we have is probably about 1900, and so that's what we are relying heavily on and what it looked like when Henry and Rosa Hutchinson uh, moved into the house. Reconstructing it from the inside and out. It doesn't have any like supports because it was built so well, like arch architecturally. It still had a lot of original artifacts and things inside, like the stove, mm -hmm. the, the wood burning stove. Henry Hutchinson grew cotton on Edisto, and the Open Land Trust is keeping his legacy alive for future generations. He had a gin on the property and assisted other black farmers in ginning their cotton. Uh, and so we also have a demonstration cotton plot on the property. Family hopes that visitors who come to their beloved space leave fulfilled from the impact of the Hutchinsons. Now construction of the Hutchinson house is expected to be completed later this year. Reporting on Edisto Island, I'm Sadeja Smalls.